Hi everybody, um, today is July 14th, Monday, and today is the actual four month anniversary of my surgery. I've lost 76 pounds, um, which is good. I actually had a two week stall where I didn't lose anything. I kept bouncing back and forth between a couple numbers, but I finally, you know, started losing again. I was a little freaked out, but it happens. Um, my best friend is having surgery on Wednesday, so I'll be with her at the hospital. Um, she, we actually started this process at the same time, but where we work, um, we have two different types of insurance, and her insurance is one that's known not to cover, so she had to wait till the beginning of the year to actually start with our doctors because she had to switch her insurance. So I actually got mine done before her, <laughs> even though we started at the same time. Um, she's extremely diabetic and stuff, so we're kind of hoping that this will help her. Um, everything's been going pretty good, except that I don't know if I'm going to have to change my birth control or what, but um, I've been on the same birth control for years and years and years and never had any problems, and it's regulated you know, my monthly cycle. But ever since surgery, I'm having a monthly cycle like twice a month. Or, and it doesn't matter. I'm taking my birth control with everything else. But I don't know if I'm just going to need a stronger dose of hormones or something. I, I have no idea. It's really becoming annoying to have it that many times a month. Um, and sometimes just spotting in between. So it's almost like you just constantly have it, which is annoying. Um, I don't know if anybody else has had this problem. Maybe you can tell me what you've done for it or if this is just something I'm going to have to live with. Um, I don't think there's anything else that could cause it except for maybe a problem with the birth control. Um, but if anybody has any um, information they could share, I would appreciate it. I've kind of watched other videos and nobody else has mentioned it, so I could be the only one having this problem. Um, also, um, you know, just curious if, Anybody else? Um, most people on here that I've looked at are all were under about 300 pounds when they had surgery. So for them to be able to lose 75, 76 pounds, it's like a huge difference in what they look like. But I was almost 400 pounds, and I'm trying not to be discouraged, but, you know, I've lost 76 pounds, and I don't know, I could still wear most of all my clothes. I mean, a few things are starting to get maybe a little bit too baggy and and stuff but it's almost like you know how much weight do I have to lose before it's very obvious that you know I'm losing weight um, I guess it I don't know that maybe sounds kind of silly or, or or shallow or something I'm not sure but I just feel like you know that's a big deal I mean that's almost 80 pounds that's that's huge that's a huge amount of weight but I guess starting from where I started from, it doesn't really seem to make much difference. I mean, I'm going to have to lose 150 pounds before anybody even notices. I don't know. Does anybody else have this? I mean, does anybody else feel this way? Or has anybody got anything they can say to cheer me up? I mean, I guess I'm not really depressed, but it seems slightly frustrating. Um, so, I don't know. But other than that, <laughs> everything's fine. Um, got, um, you know... Went to the mountains this weekend. They had the um, the Highland Games at Grandfather Mountain, and my husband's into the pipe band. And you know, yeah, he wears the kilt. Um, he doesn't play the bagpipes; he plays the drums. But so we were up there, and it was really weird because I've been to a lot of games, and this was the first one that I seemed to have energy throughout. I usually, you know, after being stuck on the mountain all day long, by the time, you know, everything's over with, then you can go home, get showered, and go out to dinner. I'm exhausted. But this year, at this time, I actually went, you know, back to the room, got, went swimming, um, then took a shower, got dressed, and went out to eat with everybody, and was fine. I mean, I started getting really tired at about 11 o'clock, but, I don't know, I felt like my energy was up. Um, and I wasn't really hot either. Um, granted, it wasn't really, it was like, you know, high 80s, I guess, there. But usually I just feel so hot and I get sweaty. And I don't know, maybe that's from losing the weight. Maybe that's helping. Um, I don't know. But I, I don't know. I felt like I didn't have as much of a restriction. You know, I wasn't as tired and my knees didn't hurt as much. So even if you can't notice it physically, <laughs> apparently I can tell a difference on the inside. So that's what's important. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I've been checking everybody's videos and writing down all these recipes. And 
Um, I'm glad everybody seems to be doing okay. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to post this little update. Thanks.